Right, okay, so in this video I'm going to talk about the mysterious Sonic statue and I thought I would discuss about this because I found this story and the statue quite interesting. Right, here's, like, if you're interested, this is the story. At the end of 2015, a Japanese biker made an interesting discovery during one of his trips. That discovery would set forth a, myst forth a mystery that would take years to solve. He found a giant sonic statue in the mountains of Japan. He posted some pictures on Twitter and then moved on without a trace. Sonic fans quickly caught note and they wanted answers. Unfortunately, these were answers the biker could not provide. He didn't know who did it, when it was set up or even exactly where it was. The fans refused to accept this fate. They were determined to solve this mystery. As you can probably guess, the statue was discovered again, but the story doesn't stop there. Finding the statue only gave birth to a new set of questions and concerns. The statue is still standing, standing today. Through time, it's definitely taken its course. Um, with the proper care and repair, the right people not to, and the right people the right people notified the strange sonic could stay standing for years to come and um i was watching youtube and this man called bad nick i'll put a video to his um video in the, in the description below so he does a whole a video a series of videos about this one statue and he, he's really good so I'd recommend checking his um, video out on his channel because he does all kinds of different Sonic Soul titles. Um, in my opinion this statue, I'm not into, I'm not really into like statues or things like that like you know this, this don't really interest me but um, this one statue is kind of interesting simply because it's the mystery behind it is very strange or well, not strange but it's very weird or well, it means the same thing but <laughs> yeah um like no one knew where the statue came from why it was there no one knew nothing it didn't and no one knew the exa exact location of the statue if you want to check out the the statue on Google Maps, I will put the location on the description below. Um, as you can see on the screen, it's, it's just like some of my screenshots, what I took when I looked on my phone. I thought I'd take screenshots because I, I just find it interesting. It's, yeah, like if, if we discovered a Doctor Who statue in the middle of nowhere, no explanation for it, I will be very interested because Doctor Who is like my top favourite thing. But with Sonic, I grew up with Sonic. Like people ask me why do I still play Sonic, but I so there's a lot of people my age, and sometimes even older people play Sonic. So like, who the hell cares what you play? Like, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, um, Sonic. The statue is just the mystery behind it. It's just so interesting, um, but the mystery has been solved like recently, and the owner of the Sonic statue has been found. Like I just said, the owner is you. Uh, um, please tell me if I get this name wrong because I can't read Japanese names. Yuji Kadora Kadora. I'm not very good of names. Um, he worked at Sega World, where the statue came from. I want to put the screenshot of the actual statue at the Sega World, like from the Japanese advert on the screen now as you look in. And he decided to take the statue when the second Sega World was going away. He took it to his home and placed it outside next to the entryway of his house. Sadly, since he passed away. But the stat the statue, but he said that the statue should be saved. So finally, case closed. It's being case closed. Like this is so interesting. Like 
the backstory of this statue. It's just, I just find it interesting. I'm so glad it's been discovered and now it's been saved. Like, I'm not, like I said before, I'm not the one that's for statues or anything like that. Like, but because this statue is such a mystery, then yeah, it needs saving. Like, one of these comments on this website, I'm gonna, uh, they said, beautiful. All I want now is to see this, see the before and after of its restoration. Yes, so would I. Like, I would like to see, um, but the before and after effects of the statue. Um, another comment says, it needs and deserves an article. I think it's okay, but I honestly don't know. It would be perfect. Well, if you look on the internet, there's loads of articles, so if you actually look on Google, you will find some, so... Yeah, um... Yeah, I'll find it... I'm so glad it's been saved, I'm so glad we finally, finally, finally know of the history, like, of the statue, like, um, where it came from, who owned it, what's it there for... Uh, it's been said it's been there for um, just basically it's letting people know where he lives basically or something like that I'll put a link in the description below of some videos that bad Nick has been made making like he made some the series of these videos so the link to his videos are in the description below right guys what do you think of the statue would you like it would you like it to be saved would you like to go to Japan and see it? I know I would. I would love to go to Japan and see Sonic riding a snowboard down the street. I would love that. I would like to take a selfie of it probably. <laughs> but yeah, like um, with Sonic, with any sort of statues, I'm not really into statues, but well, the statue. When I see a statue of a character I like, like Sonic, Shadow, the Doctor from Doctor Who. Um, any there's any character like if I just see a random like even a Dalek in the middle of the street, I will probably take a picture of it or even a selfie. Well, most people would. But Sonic statues um or any serious statues have been around for such a long time. Um, there's been loads of them. Like loads of them didn't been destroyed, but there's some footage of um some statues and here and now. But I like with Sonic statues, they're very this is very interesting. Anyway guys, end the video. Hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.